Hi everybody, good morning to meteorologist Travis Kineski here on this Tuesday morning, a very quiet start to our morning. We've got some upper level clouds coming in from the southwest. This should lead to a partly cloudy to mostly sunny day for most of us out there. Winds picking up a bit out of the southeast as the day goes on, maybe get a little on the breezy side. As we get into this evening, we'll be focusing on chances of storms in the panhandle of Nebraska. Rain thunderstorms developing there, they'll then push eastward later in the night. Notice a little out, outflow boundary there pushing into the sandhills of Nebraska. This will push eastward later in the night, and they could be, hold tough even into central Nebraska by tomorrow morning. There's 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. So by that time, Kearney, maybe a chance of storms. Grand Allen Hastings, chances a little bit lower. The best chances are going to be near and west of Highway 183. That is the highway that divides the state in half. It goes from Bassett to Ansley to Holdridge down towards Phillipsburg, Kansas. That highway and westward, that's your better chance of storms. But even as we get into tomorrow morning after 7 o'clock, there's still a chance of rain into central Nebraska, but watch how this will diminish with time. So by 10 o'clock, there's not much left. And then we push into the afternoon and much of the cloud cover starts to clear out and we'll get some sunshine. Not a very good chance of redeveloping thunderstorms Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday evening. I don't think we'll see much. So again, I'll back this up real quick here so you can see it one more time. Those storms out west. They'll push eastward. Still maybe some severe threat, but then that severe threat goes down as we get towards tomorrow morning. And as we uh, get into the afternoon again, a little more sunshine out there. So wanted to give you a twi two looks at that just to get kind of clarify on what we could be looking at as we head into late tonight and tomorrow morning. All right, on to the severe weather threat. The Storm Prediction Center, they will update this here at 8 o'clock this morning. We'll see if that changes at all. But as of right now, and as expected, the best chance of severe weather would be in the panhandle of Nebraska, where there's a slight risk of severe weather. As those storms do push eastward late tonight, they will weaken, but there still is a chance of severe weather. I think that late night chance would be mainly damage at wind gusts. But some large hail still possible, especially in the panhandle of Nebraska. Tornado threat, mainly confined to the north up in the Dakotas, the way it looks right now. Temperatures for today, topping out in the upper 80s and lower 90s for another day. It's going to be quite warm, some mid-90s near the South Dakota border. Some of those same areas that saw upper 90s yesterday, still in mid-90s for today. Tonight's weather, dro temperatures dropping back into the mid to upper 60s. A few spots might stay around 70 degrees for overnight lows. Highs tomorrow, upper 80s, lower 90s, maybe a few more mid-90s. Just a little bit warmer than today. Once again, lots of 60s, a few low 70s out there for tomorrow night into Thursday morning. Then we see a little more heat build in on Thursday. Widespread 90s here. Thursday looks to be the hottest day this week. Some low and mid 90s out there, but maybe even a few upper 90s for afternoon high temperatures on your Thursday. It's going to be a bit breezy as well. Let's so look at that long range forecast. This is, again, this is Thursday night here. I want to back this up real quick. I want to start this all over. This is Thursday evening, 7 o'clock. And this takes you through Thursday night, so it's taking you through midnight and then into Friday morning here. Rain and thunderstorms will come through with a cold front that pushes southeastward through the area Thursday night into Friday morning. Chances greater the farther north you go. This looks to be the biggest threat of any kind of severe weather, weather would be damaging wind gusts. This will push southeastward then as we head into Friday morning and Friday afternoon. Cool north winds will draw, or north winds will draw in some cooler air, so we get a little bit of relief from the heat on Friday. How about the GFS? We'll start at the same forecast time, 7 p.m. Thursday, pushing southeastward Thursday night into Friday morning. Again, notice northern Nebraska, chances greater than they will be farther south. Continues into Friday morning, then by Friday afternoon, starts to kind of shift southeastward. Cooler north winds on the backside of this system. Here's the look at the severe weather threat from the Storm Prediction Center for Thursday night into early Friday morning. Chances greater to our northwest. They will push southeastward. Small chance, but still a chance even around the Tri-Cities area, then kind of diminishing as they push farther south and eastward. And we could see severe weather even up to sunrise Friday morning here. Uh, but chances greater, again, the farther northwest to go. Right now, the biggest threat, I think, would be damaging wind gusts out there. Better chance of maybe some uh, large hail and maybe more of a tornado threat, but mostly large hail up into the Dakotas where there's that enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms here. So mostly a damaging wind gust threat for the local four viewing area. The chances lower the farther southeast you go. And again, this could be a late night event. We're talking about after midnight and into early on Friday morning. That means have that 
<coughs> severe uh, weather warning device ready to go late night. If you have a NOAA All Hazards Weather Radio, that is the best device that you can have. It'll wake you up in the middle of the night in case you do need to seek shelter from damaging wind gusts. As for the long-range forecast, again, we have warmth the next couple of days, a little more heat on Thursday, breezy as well. We get the brief cool down after those storms, so that's a late night, again, midnight to noon for the Tri-Cities. Midnight to noon is what we're looking at right now. Uh, breezy north winds will draw in that cooler air, so high around 80 on Friday. It's going to feel much more comfortable out there. And how about Friday night into Saturday morning? Lows in the 50s, that'll be nice and refreshing. Waking up Saturday morning to 50s, that'll feel pretty good out there, but... The heat's building right back in this weekend with highs into the mid and upper 80s on Saturday, lower 90s on Sunday. Lots of sunshine staying in the low 90s on Monday. That's our next chance of rain and thunderstorms late Monday. Not a great chance right now. It's not a. It's only a 20% chance. I'm not seeing it as being a, as good of a chance. I think our best chance will be Friday morning, late Thursday night, Friday morning, the way it looks right now. But that heat, that's going to settle back in here next week. We're going to keep those 90s around here. So the heat is going nowhere. So we get just a little temporary cool down on Friday. Otherwise... Lots of warm air ahead of us in the uh, next week and a half ahead of us here. So with that, I'm going to let you all go. Thank you for watching on this Tuesday morning. Hope you all have a, a wonderful Tuesday. Stay cool out there for today, and we'll see you all again bright and early on Wednesday morning. Take care, and God bless. Bye.